In this video, I'm going to be building the best possible team for 500,000 MT in NBA 2K23. My team, I think this is definitely an affordable squad for most people that have been playing the game somewhat consistently. If you guys want to go watch my 100,000 MT squad builder and my 250,000 MT squad builder, you guys can definitely go ahead and do so as well if you're looking for a little bit cheaper of a team. But this is going to be an amazing squad to build with 500,000 MT. And you guys can just take some cards, you know, from the squad and add it to your actual lineup. You don't have to actually build this exact squad squad just to find 500,000 MT to work with this would be the team that I would build so at the starting point guard position I would go with the Hito Turkoglu I still think there's no real no real better value point guard than Hito I mean he's only about 25 to 30k at most for his out of position if you wanted to spend a little bit more and go ahead and get his hero you can go ahead and do so but I personally would just stick with his out of position too he's going to be a six foot ten point guard six foot eleven wingspan has that elite level jump shot John Stockton base Trey Young upper on very quick timing a quick jump shot that is also very easy to time and then he's got some good dribble sticks he's got the Kyle Lowry size up he's got the curry escape which is going to be really easy to move with and then he's got you know really good hall of fame shooting badges including agent three amped blinders catch and shoot claymore corner specialist dead eye guard up limitless range really good hall of fame playmaking badges including unpluckable quick first step killer combos hyper drive handles for days clamp breaker and ankle breaker and dimer the only flaw badges wise is he doesn't have any half defensive and doesn't have any half uh, finishing but I mean the card just if you're looking for a good three hunter a guy that's got good size that can knock down threes I think Hito Turkoglu is going to be your perfect point guard now for the starting shooting guard position I feel like this guy's pretty much been on most squad builder teams that are about 500k and above and that's going to be the Galaxy Bowl Ricky Davis I don't think anybody's topped him for his price yet there's maybe some better budget cards like for their value like a guy we'll talk about here off the bench at the shooting guard position but Ricky Davis still a great three hunter I mean you could argue maybe for this squad that you actually want to start our Ben shooting guard over Ricky Davis. So I'll actually talk about that here in a second. I think I might actually move Ricky Davis to our backup shooting guard position just because I think it might fit the lineup a little bit better, but I'll mention that more here in a second. So Ricky Davis, a really good offensive two guard, an amazing jump shot with the Seth Curry base, Oscar Robertson upper, you know, on very quick timing, has good dribble sigs, maybe could be a little bit better, but does move pretty well, you know, for those sigs. And I do think he's going to be a great shooting guard for about 65 to 70 K for a start small forward i can't believe i'm saying this we are going with the hero galaxy opal white mamba the brian scalabrini card he's going to be such a good small forward i think debatably the third best small forward in the game maybe top five like i think he's on that kg type of level now i don't know if he's actually better than kg but I don't think it's crazy to say that he's better. Like he's six foot nine at the small four position, only six foot nine wingspan, but does have a great player modeling game. His stats are elites, man. Like I want to quickly compare the cards. I just want to compare, you know, KG to Brian Scalabrini. I think KG is going to be a better card because he's got a little bit more size of the three, a little bit more wingspan. Stats wise, though, I mean, pretty similar stats. I'm not going to lie to you, like except for the fifth, uh, plus 14 block you know plus seven pass reception that doesn't matter so other than the block they're going to be very similar stats wise scalabrini got a plus seven three ball you look at their badges scalabrini gonna have ton more hall of fame shooting but then yeah kg is gonna have you know good more for the hall of fame defense which is a difference so it really depends what type of small forward you need if you're looking for an offensive guy i mean scalabrini's got the better jump shot not by a crazy margin but i do think he's got the better release and he does have way better dribble sigs with this steve francis size up or sorry steve Fran yeah steve francis size up tray escape and then he also does have better dunk packages with the quick drops off one the front clutches and just the rest of these i think are slightly better so i think brian scalabrini if you're looking for an offensive small forward is better for your squad than kevin garnett but if you want a defensive guy you obviously go for kg but i think they're on that same level in a sense where you can just pick whatever you need for your small forward position kg still might be a little bit better all around because most people are looking for defensive cards at their small forward position but scalabrini for 150k is super good value in my opinion and he's going to be our starting small forward next to ricky davis and hiro turkoglu for our starting power forward i think this guy can still play power forward these type of squads and that's going to be the galaxy Bull thorough bailey there's not too many actual power forwards in the game that are like seven foot one seven foot two and are super elite for a budget price because then you're going into like the d rob level you're going to like the dwight howard joel Embiid, you know those type of cards the dirk Nowitzki, but they're going to be way too expensive for a 500,000 mt team that's why thorough bailey i think is going to be the perfect power forward he's got the athleticism he's got the size six foot eleven seven foot wingspan he's got the player model gets really good defensive animation and he's just really good at slashing to the basket with his um you know just crazy good slashing animations and then 
and also does have a great jump shot with the with the Tobias Harris base and the Seti Osman upper on very quick timing. He's got the D Mitch fade. He's got the Steph Curry size up John Wall escape. So really good six for a card who's just mainly going to be here for defense to grab rebounds and block shots, contest shots, all that type of stuff. And he's only about 15,000 MT. And then to round off the starting lineup for the best 500,000 MT team, I do think is going to be the Galaxy Opal Marcus Gasol easily the best buy now center in the game i don't think it's really a debate at all for me personally He's just an absolute beast of the center position for about 70 to 80,000 MT. He's a seven foot one center, seven foot four wingspan. If you're looking for a center that can compete against some of the top centers in the game, like I think he can compete against a Dikembe Mutombo, a Chris Stops, a Kareem, you know, all these type of center cards, Brooke Lopez, like he can compete against those high level centers. Not saying he's as good to them, as good as them, but I do think he's on somewhat of that level with an amazing jump shot, really good athleticism stats with a 95 strength, 90 speed, 90 acceleration, but but mainly she's going to be a great pick and pop shooter you know in the catch and shoot uh, you know in the pick and roll into the catch and shoot i do think marcus all is going to be a great offensive card and it's just all around an absolute beast for about 70 to 80 thousand mt and then for our bench Honestly, you can make a legit argument that our bench is really not that much worse than our starting lineup. For a backup point guard, we do uh, we, we are gonna we are gonna go with the Galaxy Opal Jalen Rose. Like I said, I think you can make the argument Jalen Rose is better than Hito Turkoglu. I'm starting Hito Turkoglu, so I do think Hito is better. But I'm saying you can make somewhat of a debate that Jalen Rose is slightly better. I think it just really comes down to whose jump shot you prefer. Me personally, I like Hito Turkoglu's jump shot a little bit more. But I do think Rose has got the better sigs. He's got the Steve Francis size. Up, he's got the tray escape and he's also going to be a better defender with these stats and badges and also does have you know a 92 on ball steal 88 contest shot 88 block shot but if you look at a card like hito turkaloo you know stats are going to be a little bit worse on defense and also doesn't have like that high level of a of, of a defensive tendency so very similar cards i think hito turkaloo is slightly better but both going to be great budget point guards for about twenty five thousand mt and then to talk about our backup shooting guard richard jefferson this card is insanely good. I'm not going to lie. I was very impressed with how good Richard Jefferson is that I might actually start him over Ricky Davis. Not saying he's a better card, but the reason why I want to start him over Ricky because Hito Turkoglu, great offensive card. Ricky Davis, great offensive card. Brian Scalabrini, great offensive card. We don't really have that lockdown card except for Thurl Bailey, but he's going to be guarding the power forwards and the taller cards. But I think it's actually smart to bring Richard Jefferson on the starting lineup and then to bring Ricky Davis holy voice crack to bring ricky davis off the bench because our backup small forward is also going to be another defensive card and that's going to be the opal ak-47 who can still score the ball he definitely can he's got a good jump shot pretty good dribble six but i think this lineup does get a little bit more balanced when we have hito turkoglu brian skyler brini to score the ball and it's not like richard jefferson can go get you a bucket but he's going to be our lockdown type of defender and this card surprisingly is only about 10,000 mt maybe 15k at most and he's a six foot seven two guard seven foot wingspan gives you elite level defense with these stats and badges tendencies could be a little bit better but i still think this card's great on the defensive end he's got a really good player model and then offensively he's great at going to the basket get some good dunking animations maybe isn't the best three hunter doesn't have the fastest jump shot in the world but he can definitely still three hunt and craze on shot when he needs to and then you guys know what ak-47 can do just a great two-way small forward in my team for about 50 to 60k for a backup power forward just like thorough bailey not a traditional power forward i will say for most people's lineups i I think a lot of people do run Thurl Bailey at small forward, but I think for this type of team, you got to run Jonathan better at the power forward spot. He still is seven foot with a seven foot four wingspan. Now he's not the greatest, like, you know, defender in the world on the interior. He doesn't have all the best, you know, Hall of Fame defensive badges, but the card's going to give you elite level offense at the power forward position. And he's also got the exact same jump shot as Brian Scalabrini with the Montrez Harold base and the Trey Young upper, except that this is going to be on quick timing instead of very quick, but he does have the Trey size up. He's got the Curry escape, Dame behind the back, a really good offensive power forward for only about 30 to 40,000 MT. And then to round off the best 500,000 MT squad builder is going to be the pink diamond Peter Gummonson. I think he's a great backup big, you know, behind Marcus Saul. You can maybe even make an argument that he's better. I do like Mar I do like Marcus Saul a little bit more because of his speed. And I do prefer his jump shot slightly, but I think Peter's probably a little bit better on defense because of his size. Being a seven foot two center, seven foot ten wingspan, you know, has a really wide player model, also weighs 260 pounds. And then his defensive stats are going to be on the Marcus Saul level. 
but I do think his speed is a little bit slower, and that's why Marcus Saul starting, but both going to be elite level, not budget centers, but both going to be elite level just centers in the game that I think can compete against most of the top centers, except for like a Yao Ming or a Manu Bull. But let me know in the comment section down below, what do you guys think about my 500,000 MT squad builder? I think personally, if you guys have around 500,000 MT to spend, this is easily going to be the best team to build, but hopefully you guys did enjoy, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.